Grade 3 Math, Lesson 8. Round to the nearest 100. In our previous video, we rounded to the nearest 10. Today we're going to round to the nearest 100. We're going to go either 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and yes, a thousand could be the answer when you're rounding to the nearest hundred. We talked about if the number to the right of the number you're rounding is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then it tells the number to stay the same. And remember, when it's finished telling it what to do, it turns into a 0. If it ends with a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it tells you to go to the next biggest number, and then when it's done, it turns into a 0. So, let's look at this one. 103. Where would 103 be here? Would 103 be closer to 100 or 200? Well, 103 would be very, very close to 100 right here. And do you know how I know? Because this is the hundreds place. We're rounding to the nearest hundred. The one is in a hundreds place. So the one to the right of it, this one, is telling it what to do. And I know that a zero tells it to stay the same. It's telling the one to stay the same. Now that it's done with its job, it turns into a zero, and any number to the right of it also turns into a zero. It says, hey, I'm turning into a zero. You turn into a zero, too. Also, so these both turn into a zero, and the one stays the same. What about 135? This is the number we're rounding to, and the three tells it what to do. The three tells the one to stay the same. He says, hey, one, stay the same. And one says, okay. Three says, I'm done doing my job. I'm turning into a zero. Hey, Mr. Five, you turn into a zero also. So 135, which would be about right here, is closer to 100 than it is to 200. See that? What about 178? What is the seven telling the one to do? Should it stay the same or should it go bigger? Well, a seven tells it to go bigger. Seven says to the one, you have to go bigger to a two, the next biggest number. So he does. And seven says, I'm done doing my job. I turn into a zero, and so does the eight. So 178, it's bigger than 150. It would be about right here. It's closer to 200 than 100, because it would be about right here, see? How about 143? What does the 4 tell the 1 to do? Remember, a 4 tells it to stay the same. So the 1 says, okay, I'm staying the same, and the 4 and the 3 are done, and they turn into zeros. So 143 is closer to 100 than it is to 200. What about 321? The 2 tells it to stay the same. It's telling the 3 to stay the same. So 3 is still a 3. They're done doing their job and they turn into zeros. How about 395? Well, the 9 is the next one to the right, so it's the one telling it what to do, and the 9 tells it to go to the next biggest number. So the 3 is going to become a 4. They're done doing their job and they turn into zeros. So 395 is closer to 400 than it is to 300. How about 806? What does the zero tell the eight to do? Yeah, it tells it to stay the same. So eight is going to stay the same. Zero is zero, and it tells the six to be a zero. So 806 is closer to 800 than it is to 900. How about 780? The eight tells the seven to go to the next biggest number. It's in the blue group, right? So the 7 is going to become an 8, and these guys are zeros now because they're finished doing their job, even though he kind of stayed a zero, and so did he. So 780 is closer to 800 than it is to 700. What about 939? 939, is it closer to 900 or 1,000? The 3 is going to tell the 9 what to do. He's going to tell it to stay the same. So 9 stays the same, and these two guys turn into zeros. How about 681? The 8 tells the 6 to go to the next biggest number. So 6 becomes a 7, and they become zeros. A couple more. 
597. Is it closer to 500 or 600? Yeah, it's closer to 600, just by a few digits, right? Just three more. The 9 tells the 5 to become a 6, and then it and the 7 have done their job, and they become zeros. What about 998? Is it closer to 900 or 1,000? Wouldn't 998 be like right here, just a couple numbers away from 1,000? 998, 999, 1,000. Yeah. So even though we're rounding to the nearest 100, this 9 tells that 9 to go up to the next number. So the 9 goes up to a 10, and the 9 and the 8 become 0. See? So it becomes 1,000. So yes, even though we're rounding to the nearest 100, you can round 998 to 1,000. What if there's other numbers here? Now we're rounding to the 100, and the pink one is the hundreds place. You ignore this one until we're done. The 2 tells the 4 to do what? 2 tells it to stay the same. So the 4 is going to stay the same. He has to bring him along. Anybody that is on this side is just going to go for the ride. So the 2 is going for the ride, 4 is staying the same, and the 2 and the 6 are finished doing their job. They turn into zeros. So 2,426 rounded to the nearest 100 becomes 2,400. What about this one, 5,381? Well, the 5 is just going to go for the ride, so let's just put them here. And the 8 tells the 3 to go up to the biggest number, the bigger number. So 3 is going to become a 4, and the 8 and the 1 are finished doing their job, and they become zeros. So you can round a number to a place value even if there's other numbers here. Even if we had a big number like this, and we're rounding to the nearest hundred, and this is 235,241. That's a very big number. If we're rounding to the hundreds place, that's right here. The four tells the two to stay the same. These guys go along for the ride. So you have two, three, five, comma, two, it's staying the same, and the four and one are finished doing their job. They become zeros. So this number 235,241 rounded to the nearest hundred becomes 235,200. See? So that's rounding to the nearest hundred. I hope to see you in our next video, and I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time.